Hello, my name is Chris. And my name is Erica, and today we will be showing you how to use an HPLC machine. HPLC stands for High Pressure Liquid Chromatography or High Performance Liquid Chromatography. Or my favorite, High Price Liquid Chromatography. <laughs> now what the HPLC does is it's very similar to the GC, except where the GC vaporizes your liquid into a gas, the HPLC keeps everything in a liquid mobile phase. So once you put your sample onto the machine, the liquid mobile phase comes and picks up your sample and pushes it through a column packed with a stationary phase where it's separated into its components. Now once your sample is separated, the pumps take the liquid mobile phase carrying your sample and run it through the detector. And what the detector does is it scans and reads your sample with two different wavelengths. we are going to turn on the HPLC machine. So first, you turn on the detector. First pump, second pump. And as it's getting warmed up, you're going to hear a couple funky noises. Um, it's just warming up right now. So now going over to the computer and turning on the program, click on the Galaxy icon. Click OK, there's no password needed. Down here you'll see Data Systems Calibration. Click the Systems tab. Then it will have HPLC System with an empty box next to it. Check that. Okay. So now here are the graphs. Channel 1 and Channel 2 just indicating the different wavelengths. And here are the pumps. And now we're going to turn on the D2 lamp, which stands for deuterium lamp, and the VIS lamp, which stands for the visible lamp. And they're just indicated here by light bulbs. And the ones you need to turn on are yellow. So first click the D2 lamp, then wait a couple minutes. Okay, now that um, these icons pretty much just came to life, you can see here that the D2 lamp is on, and all we have to do now is click on the visible lamp icon. Now this will only take a few seconds. And you can see here that D2 lamp is on, visible lamp is on, indicated by the green dots, and that now um, it's ready for the method to be sent over. So sending the method over, go to Acquisition, the Dropbox, click Quick Start, choose your method name, click OK, change the file prefix, to whatever it is, the sample that you're running. Okay. Click Start. So once you've pressed Start, it's going to send over the method and it's going to start. The machine is actually going to start pumping. So we have to keep an eye on the pounds per square inch. That'll start going up pretty quickly. So at this point, we got to put on our goggles. This machine will get up to 1600 psi and it, that's a lot of pressure. So it's rising pretty quickly so we're going to go prepare our, our sample. So here's our sample just in this beaker right here. And like we said you can use solid as long as it's dissolved so we have to make sure we get the undissolved solid out of our sample so we're going to prepare our sample for that. So we take a big syringe. We're going to clean it first, like we do with the IR and the GC. So, draw up a good amount just to clean it, and we're going to shoot it over into this waste flask. All clean. So now, take another portion, draw it up into the syringe, and we're going to filter it. So just attach this filter onto the end, just push it on, and you can spin it 
spin until you feel a little bit of resistance. So now it's snug. So we're all ready. So now into an empty beaker, we're going to put our filtered sample. Just press, and the filter will fill up, and our product will fall into the beaker. There you go. You don't need much. You don't need much. The reservoir up here is 20 microliters. We just need, we typically go for about double that. So, once we have our filtered sample, we're going to draw it up into a blunt syringe, approximately 40 microliters. Make sure it's a blunt syringe and not the GC syringe, which is actually a serrated blade. So, while that's all done, we're now going to shoot it onto the machine. This is the injection port. Make sure this knob is in the up position. So we're going to insert, shoot our sample on, and we're going to drop down this knob and count to five. Once that's done, we're going to push the knob back up, and that's all the injection. The rest is automated. So to run through it, push it in until it breaks. Put our sample in. Now down. One, two, three, four, five. Up. Remove. And if you'll come right over here real quick, you'll see that the machine is now reading and it's running. So at this point, we get to sit and wait.